Hi everyone. Ooh, a little bit of a late start today, but I'm here and I'm ready to make some fonts. Okay. What day is it today? Monday? Happy Monday, everyone. Um, I like Mondays now because I get to work on fonts. Yeah. It's great. Uh, okay, so. I am working on language support today. Mostly fun diacritic marks, but also a couple other characters that don't come out to play very often. Or ever in English, but they come out to play in lots of other languages, so. We gotta make them. All right, so. Well, let's just get started then. No, no, no. I'm gonna make a macaron. <laughs> macaron? Macaron? <laughs> Macaroon. Now I'm thinking about macaroons. Mmm. Okay. I'm gonna take my dash character. I um, don't know if it's thick enough to go with all of our other buddies here, but. So we are gonna need an anchor point. We're gonna need to center on that anchor point, our shape, and then I'm gonna move it up a bit. Side bearings don't matter much at this point, but we will do that. Um, and then, let's see, same goes here on our uh, regular master. We'll bring our dash over, center it on our anchor point. Move it up a bit. And you know what? It's not that bad. It might be a little long, but it's an awfully good start. Okay, let's see. Let's see it in action. There we go. Looks a little maybe low. Maybe a little thin on this, although. We got some unevenness going on in this weight anyway. Let's start with this one. I think we're a little long. I think it's a little long. We're gonna get rid of some of the length on there. Maybe a smidgen more? Just a smidgen. test. Always look in context. Yeah, I think that's getting along with all the other ones pretty well. Um, in that weight anyway. Here we have some problems. <laughs> Um, these guys are big chunkers, are acute and grave, um, and our tilde is also in our, you know, our diocese. These ones are all big chunkers. Maybe this guy just needs to be more of a chunker. Maybe that's how we fix it. <laughs> Why are you not chunky enough? Be more chunky. Yeah. And then we'll make this guy a bit bigger and a little bit shorter. All about the short and chunky here. Oh, and I wanted to move it up a little bit too. It felt just like a little too low compared to the other ones. So there we go. We will see it in action again. That's looking a little more unified for sure. So that is awesome. Yeah, I think that's working better. Well, we started in easy mode. <laughs> Although, you know, the tilde is looking still a little bit, maybe, large. Um, let's see if we can tone that down a little bit while we are here. I'm just 
going to do that. I don't know if that messes our angles too much, but it's also a bit wide. I wonder if I can, making it narrow will probably be a little more work, but hey, it's worth it. It will be all worth it in the end. Probably want it to be about that narrow. Um, but now I have severely messed up my curbs. 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 That's a V in there. Um, but that's okay. We can fix that. Can't we? By moving some stuff around. It's a little better. Um, probably still. I think I can just really bring that down. Yeah. Does not need to be that crazy. Alright, it's a little more tame. Yeah, I'm digging that. That's better. Better for sure. <laughs> um, let's see here. Should we just go in order? Maybe we should just go in order of whatever is next on the list. Hmm. Now we get a fun curvy guy. Um, for this, the shortcut I'm going to take for this is actually using this one. We are going to flip it. We're going to merge it. Does my flip not work? Hello? Flip. <gasps> Why you know? It's not merging either. Hello? Merge button? You know what? Occasionally, the buttons don't work. And I don't know why, but if I restart glyphs, sometimes they work again. Maybe I have just had glyphs open for far too long. It's entirely possible. Let's see now. Flip it, and it works. So strange. Okay, so then... We should give these handles because we're gonna need some handles for this and then we'll do look at that shortcut underway we're making our way ah, okay and then we'll fix these because they look crazy there we go Part of the way there. <laughs> We're part of the way there. What do we have? Oh, hang on. We don't have a. Uh, we don't have an anchor point here. That was way off center. We need one of these, and then get that centered on the anchor point. And then you know what? I'm gonna move all of this down because it's chunky, and chunky's nice. But we want it to go with everybody too, so we can just do that. What do you think? Not too bad. Um, again, side bearing doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna equal it out for now. Cause I can't remember what I do with side bearings. Um, there's something about zero with glyphs that I don't think it's the combining ones that I need. I think it's the other ones, but um, that's a different thing and I will have to refresh my memory before trying to address that. Okay, let's do the same thing we just did um, with our other weight. So we'll get that anchor point in there. We're gonna flip it. We're gonna merge it. We're gonna get it lined up with our anchor point. Okay, and we're gonna get to our side bearing right now. We're gonna give it some handles. To add handles in a space like that, if you hold option and click on the line, it'll add the handles for you automatically. Just a fun little glyphs thing. Alright, and then I'm gonna go 
down three and out three. These ones I will just go out two, or sorry, down two for those to get that kind of lined up. Awesome. Same problem as the other one where I think we're just like a little too chunky in the middle. Okay, and let's look at it in action. Not bad. Maybe still a little chunky, maybe. I think it's also just a little too... It's like a little too much. <laughs> Let's see if we grab our... These. You know, like it was, uh... The corners were like a little too much, maybe. little bit. It's five units on that one. Okay, I think that's a little better. And we can check. Um, I just want to make sure. If we, yeah, if we switch between the two, like, you know, those curves are kind of speaking the same language there. The top curve is not, you know, super, it doesn't have super high sides to it. Um, and it in the in the lighter weight we want to make sure that they're kind of speaking the same language so our interpolation is really nice between those two and all the styles in between will have a similar look and all look like the same typeface because you know that's what we're going for they're all part of the same typeface okay what's next what is next doop a doop um what do we have here dot accent combine no which one are you i think this is just a dot above it looks like it's on top um thing is we don't have circles in this no <laughs> i don't want dictation oh, i'm sorry that was a button combo that i <laughs> did not intend um, as I was saying before I was interrupted by software, um, let's see here, we're gonna, our dots are actually squares in this typeface, so we're gonna go with this guy. And we'll just make sure that there is a, that there's an anchor point, and we will put our period there. Okay, let's see if we can find one of these in use somewhere. Where is this one in use? Ah, above the E. Let's see one. Yep, I'd say that goes with everybody else. Now, too campulated. Can't campulated. Whoa. I can speak. Now, I'm just noticing on the C, it looks a little too far over, but that's actually our anchor point on the C because all of them look a little too far over, so that just needs to be nudged there. All right, looking not too bad. What's next? I'm just gonna, just gonna keep trucking through these. Oh, are we doing a hook already? I usually like to leave the Vietnamese for last because it's hard. <laughs> Some of them are hard. Um... Right, hook and horn. I gotta remember that these are different. Okay, um, oh boy. I might have to refresh my memory on Vietnamese diacritics uh, before. Let's find the website. This is what we want. All right, this is the probably the best uh, website for looking up your Vietnamese diacritic marks and figuring out how they're supposed to look. It's a great resource called VietnameseTypography.com. Um, what am I looking for? I'm looking for the hook. That's this guy. Uh, I think there's somewhere. It's like laid out like a book. There's somewhere in here where 
It goes into the hook. Uh, let's see. Tone marks. Tone marks? Is this in the hook? Yeah, here we are. Hook above. There. We get some examples here. Okay. So. A lot of them look a bit like question mark. Uh, with the bottom kind of cut off. Um, which is probably a good place to start our design. Resembles. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Resembles a dotless. I should have just read it. <laughs> Resembles a dotless question mark placed on vowels. Okay. So, why don't we start with our question mark and see and go from there. Uh, let's see what it looks like. Okay. Now, I don't think... None of the ones on the sample, anyway, have it coming back down. That would probably complicate the mark too much. So we might be able to take our question mark and sort of chop off the end. Um, so it has a similar feeling to it, but we're not overcomplicating the shape too much. Um, oh, also in the example, a thing that I am noticing, maybe I need to look into this a little bit more, um, is, that it looks like it's sort of in two strokes, right? So you've got like a curve and then a little stick coming off of it. And our question mark has a slightly different structure where it's coming down as a curve. So um, I'm not entirely sure. You must be able to do kind of like a curve. I know he has example samples. There's a sample section. Whoa, let's take a look. Let's take a quick look here. Probably should have refreshed my memory on this before stream, but hey, let's learn together. Cause that's fun. Um, what do we want? Something, something that looks like what we're making it would be great. Uh, that's a sans. Let's see. This one's kind of interesting. Look at these, they're so beautiful. Oh, here's one with a curve. There's a hook above with a curve. So maybe we can hang out with our curve. Maybe that would be fine. <laughs> mm, okay, research done. Let's make... Oh, you know what? Let's not edit our question mark. <laughs> Let's copy and paste the shape over there before we start screwing with it, because that would be bad. I'm going to ruin our question mark. Because our question mark should not be a hook above. That is for sure. All right, I'm going to move this up a little bit. Oh, yeah. Now, should I, you know what, I'm going to just start by getting rid of this section, just to see where we end up. With that, I'm gonna make that a bit longer, and then, boy, um, and we're gonna severely shorten this curve, like a lot, like a lot of shortening. Oh god, that's not what I wanted. I want, no, I want these to come. Wow, ah, I do want these to come with me. I want all of these. I want all these to come with me. There we go. All these handles, you're coming with. Okay. Uh, so that's a start. I think we can get away with scaling this down because our width, uh, our width over here on the period is, uh, our marks are a little thinner than our stems overall so we have 222 that we're working with there oh taylor hello sorry i don't know when you left that message it was so quiet for the first little while i just started talking to myself <laughs> how are you hydrate we're hydrating already can i hydrate with tea i actually didn't come prepared with a water bottle thank you for coming and lauren if you're there too we're doing language support again not sure how long you've been there <laughs> Um, 
So we're at 260 here, so yeah, we can afford to make that a little thinner. Um, I'm gonna bring that up. we could bring it up actually we could move all of this kind of up like that to make it a little we need to make this shorter because it's got to fit with with all of these which are kind of existing in a space that is more like what are we we're more like hang on let's make our space this is kind of like our top right now and this is kind of like our bottom ish yeah so we gotta try and mean that space just dropping a gift as I'm late. <laughs> Doing all right for Monday. I know, it's Monday. And we started off the week with preschool being canceled due to a power outage. <laughs> so it's going well. <laughs> but I have some chai tea and I'm making fonts, so it's okay. All good. So I'm gonna go a little taller than what we're doing because we do need a little extra space. But I'm glad your Monday is going okay, Taylor. That's awesome. Lauren, if you're there, I forgot to text you back. But I'm gonna do that later. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. Oh, the other thing I want to do is maybe move this over. Here. Okay, can we fit this in our space? Can we make it even this short? I don't know if we can fit it all in here. Taylor, do you enjoy language support or is it tricky? Lauren said, all good. Okay. <laughs> is it tricky? Um, some of it's kind of tricky. Once you figure out what the shapes are supposed to look like though, it's actually not all that bad. Um. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, actually. I usually find it just sort of interesting, because, you know, what you, some people, places, some places around the world have kind of interesting and fun letters going on that we don't use here. So it's kind of neat to explore those for a little while. Um, wow, what is this width? 261. That feels massive. I'm just gonna... Wow, that looked a little bit too much. Um, cut that down a little bit, though. Let's see. Uh, not bad. I'm go up with that. That feels better. So does that. Hmm, okay. So we're looking at the hook above right now. Um, let me grab the example again. Where did I find it? This one. This is the one I was kind of going to reference, this hook above here, because it looks closest to the design that we're using. Um, zoom on that. It's probably very small for you guys. Wee! So... That's kind of what it's supposed to look like. We're getting there. <laughs> Ish. Um, I think... Maybe we can make this all wider a little bit at the top. Mm, maybe not that much. Oh boy. So tricky there's like not a lot of space for curves in here in this shape so trying to fit in enough curves also we're cutting it off is this the angle yeah so a lot of our stuff cuts off at whoa at this angle which is too crazy for this and the opposite would almost work better but you know what would the pen do Let's see here. Why don't, actually, why don't we lean into that angle a little bit more? That might help. We lean into that angle a bit more there. Okay, let's actually, let's take a look at this in context. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna put 
that and we got our anchor point um and then let's find let's see it goes above the a so yeah i don't think we're quite hitting it here yet it's looking a little awkward it looks a bit like an awkward duck you know um and we want it to look like a font not an awkward duck <laughs> I mean, unless I guess we're making an awkward duck type face, then it could look like an awkward duck. But it's just not quite sitting right. Hmm. What do I do with you? It's also like, it's okay if it's a bit feels like it's okay if it's a bit taller than the other ones because uh, this I think it only appears in Vietnamese and they often use these double stacked accents too like these ones here that you see kind of next to it so a lot of their accents end up being quite high <laughs> Taylor keep falling asleep before I start watching my anime shows have you been watching anything new yes I have <laughs> um, yeah I don't know that there's much like new releases that I've been finding interesting, but um, I went back to Jujutsu Kaisen, I guess. I picked, I actually picked up the um, the manga first, just the first up, uh, the first episode, <laughs> the first book from the library, and it was pretty good. And then, um, yeah, and then I started watching the anime because everyone says it's super awesome. And yeah, I mean, good fight scenes. It's pretty good. I've I've been enjoying it. I wonder actually, now I'm looking at my sedilla and going, hmm, can I just flip my sedilla around and have it, or is that way too lazy? I feel like that's too lazy. Um, cause it needs to be kind of like my question mark, but my question mark goes down. Maybe we need to, okay, well, why don't I bring this back? Why don't I bring the shape back? Let's, let's start over. <laughs> We're gonna throw this out and start over. Well, I'll save it, but I'm gonna start over and try it with the uh, with this kind of like downward facing thing. Um, see if I can get that to work better. I mean, obviously we have to make this quite a bit smaller and shorter. And we're gonna bring this way up. This way up. Yeah, Taylor, have you been watching anything interesting in the anime department? Or you said you've been falling asleep <laughs> before you get a chance to. Oh, there's a movie out now? Love Jujutsu Kaisen. I know. I'm, I think I'm a little behind. I don't know when they were published, but I was looking for something to watch, and that seemed very highly recommended, so it's good. There might be a movie out. Maybe that's what caught my eye was the movie and then I was like, okay, I'm gonna watch the anime. <laughs> that and the library. Oh man. I haven't been going as much to the library, but let me tell you, I forgot that the library was awesome. But we went a lot. I went a lot with the kids in the summertime because they were getting all kinds of graphic novels and superhero books. Got to get all the Spider-Man books and all the... And there's lots of options. I feel like this shape looks better already. How are we feeling about this shape? Bring that up. Which means that this can come up. And we can get a little more definition on that kind of... We want a little bit of up and down here so it doesn't just kind of like awkwardly come into this corner. Just define that shape a little bit more. Uh, let's see. I think we're too tall. We're probably too big. But yeah. I think that looks better overall though. So that's good. Better overall is a good start. <laughs> 
Excuse me. <laughs> Taylor, I'm still watching Spy Family and been enjoying Chainsaw Man. Oh, I don't understand what Chainsaw Man is about. I should really look at that. Also, newest season of Overlord is great. Oh, I don't know if I've watched Overlord either. New recommendations. Once I get through Jujutsu Kaisen, of course. Um, Spy Family. Oh yeah, I think I missed an episode potentially. I will have to check. All right, back to this hook. I think, let me just, I'm just gonna give it a little shrink. <laughs> sort of cheating, but also not. And then, oh yeah, I think we can go, I think we can go narrower. I feel like this can go narrower. And even tuck it in a little bit more. That doesn't need to be quite as big in that space. Right. Mm-hmm. And then let's smooth out that curve there. We're on the outside. Shoink. I'm gonna just take some space out so I don't have a lot of drawing space going on. We might still be too tall, but let's look at it in action. That's looking not too bad. I think we're doing pretty good here. Um, I feel like I do want it maybe a little smaller still, or like the base feels too big since I shrunk the sides down. <laughs> we should probably bring the base in as well. So we're not too thick there. And then, yeah, let's bring everything bring it down as much as we can really push that shorter um, which means I'm gonna bring this up a little bit so we don't lose we don't want to crowd this little counter space up too much because it is quite small so we don't want to lose that too much and then let's just fine-tune our curves a bit This I actually maybe want to get a little more of that angle out of, um, which we kind of lost in there somehow. It might look a little awkward, but I feel like it goes a lot more with what's happening in the rest of the font. Oops. We've got that kind of angle in the top corner. Um, and then it sort of rounds out from there, but even this is maybe like a little bit too rounded. if I can thin that out a little bit, which might mean that needs to come up. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it back down a little bit. <laughs> okay, smooth out that curve. Um, and, oh, we got a problem here. Um, I don't know if you can see this. It's very small, but these handles here should not cross like this because you end up getting awkward little lumps in your lines like that. Do you see it kind of going above the, like it's coming out straight and then it goes like up a little bit and then down? It's awkward. We don't like it. It's not good for the drawings. <laughs> so we're going to fix that and make sure that's not happening. Um, here we go. Let's, oh, it's not lined up right on that line. Okay, sorry, I'm zooming around all over the place here. We're zooming, let's look at it in context. I think that that is looking pretty good. Uh, and now we have our components to make. Ba -ba -ba -da. Where is it? Is it this one? Here we are. Uh, let's see here, where is it? Glyph. Composite. Oh yeah, there we go. Um, so one very fun accent character is combining these two, which is great. Hey, wait a minute. Am I missing? <gasps> we are missing things. We need our anchor point. Okay, 
Now we gotta get that centered. Uh, there. Let's see. That's pretty good. Um, possibly the other one too. Sorry, there's a couple up here too. Oh! Oh my gosh, we've been missing the anchor points the whole time. Which means here too, no anchor point. <gasps> Sadness. Nothing works without the anchor points. Oops. So we will add them in. Let's see. Ah, I'm lost. I'm lost. I'm zoomed in too far. Okay. Great, all right. Um, now that we have anchor points, let's take a look at where we're going here. There we go. So we get this guy, which looks a little, a little nuts. Um, <laughs> it looks a little big. So one thing I'm noticing here in our example post here uh, is that it's sort of, I guess we can call that normal sized here, but it actually looks like it's a little bit shrunk here. So it looks like that is maybe within the rules that we can shrink it a little bit, um, which I think I might do because it's just a little overbearing at the moment. So uh, what we can do is do, hopefully that's not too much, we can shrink it down a little. Um, and I think that maybe looks a little more reasonable. I might have shrank it too much. <laughs> it's lost a little weight now. Maybe a little bit too much. So let's bring that up a little bit. Oh, I don't want it too close. I think that's fine. Yeah, that looks good. I guess I shouldn't say good. It looks more consistent. <laughs> How about that? Um, okay. What else do we have? Oh, I think we can also build our other Vietnamese marks. These ones. Oh, wait, hang on. Let's do, sorry, before we move on to that, let's do our lightweight of that one. <laughs> so now we gotta do all that again. <laughs> uh, if we can remember what we did. We will try to remember what we did. We shrank that up. Um, I think we also shrank that up a little bit. Um, I don't have sort of my outlines on this, of like where my lowest and highest are. So let's get those references in there. Looks like we can kind of go there to there ish. All right. So we're kind of aiming for that. Let's go over, shrink this up. <laughs> Taylor, there's so much to do. I know, right? But you know what? This is actually the last little bit. Um, I've been working on this behind the scenes and it's actually pretty close. To, to being fairly done, actually, which is a little bit crazy. Okay, let's bring that in. Bring this in with it. Okay, so our curves are wonk, but um, that's a little closer. Yep. Okay. Um, still, yeah, there we go. Uh, like that. And then we need an uh, anchor point. Maybe like there-ish. Okay. So we'll fix the curves. Um, oh yeah, I was going to show you like that. This is kind of, this is kind of the last thing that we need to do. So... These are all supposed to be blank, except they're not deaf, but we'll get to that. 
Um, like these are all just sort of space and technical things. Um, and then we have our alphabet. We've got, I've worked on all the punctuation now, um, including some extra symbols and stuff. So I'm just filling in these language support pieces, which are mostly marks above letters, except for this last little bit here. Um, maybe it shows it better in my, maybe it shows it better here. <laughs> we got an alphabet. We got punctuation here. Been working on these. Check out these curly brackets. Look how fun they are. Ooh, <laughs> so fun. Um, <laughs> I worked on some spacing. Uh, we've got symbols here. Got all our slashes and asterisks, asterisks, asterisks. I don't know how to say <laughs> multiple. We got one and we got a three set. Um, we got daggers. Gotta have daggers. Gotta have daggers. Um, we got some ord little ordinals. Uh, let's see here. So our language support section is this. But, I mean, it's really a lot of repeat letters, so it looks scary, but it's it's really not. Um, except for the fun ones down here. <laughs> Looking forward to that uh, Izet down here. Uh, we got numbers, and we got a little bit of math symbols and some currency. I filled in a little bit of currency, too. So, you know what? We're, we're closing in on this character set, and this is going to be my final character set for this, so... It really felt like I raced through it, even though I've been working on it for many years. <laughs> and maybe... Um, that? Oh, I need to kick this out. There we go. That feels better. This not feeling round enough out here, maybe? We'll bring that up. Yeah. Or it's not thick enough, even. I'm actually gonna bring this in a little. And bring that down. Sorry. More like that, maybe? Um, Oh, I forgot I have my keyboard back. I don't know why I'm using my computer keyboard. I'm shaking my camera all over the place. I spilled chai on my keyboard last week. Yeah! But it dried out and it seems to be working. So I think it's okay. It's not even very sticky. Like, I spilled a lot of chai on it. I was, like, holding it in the sink and, like, shaking chai out of the keyboard. <laughs> chai tea out of the keyboard. <laughs> Here it is here, the culprit. Chai tea. So risky. Still drinking it, even though I spilt it everywhere. <laughs> I figure everybody's got to spill a bunch of stuff on their keyboard at least once, right? Have you guys spilled stuff on your keyboard yet? Feels like a rite of passage of like owning technology, and I haven't done it yet, so... Oh, it's looking a little thick. I think we can thin this guy out a little bit. He's looking a bit chunky. <laughs> Don't spill! <laughs> I know, terrifying, right? Electronics and liquids. Two things that just don't go together. I'm not usually spilly. I'm really not. I'm usually also very good at taking care of my things, but something has happened recently and I've been destroying everything around me, so I don't know what's going on. The universe is not pleased, and I don't know why. <laughs> looking better, right? You think it's a little more consistent? Like, it's not too, too it's not too thick or anything like that. It's not bad. Um, 
so then we can make we can make this one uh where is it glyph create composite yay there we go Oops. it's jumping around on me and we're gonna use our little shrink trick here and just shrink it by a little bit one click um and then where are we in context oh you look a little tall you look a little tall maybe i made it too big overall i think i could shrink it down a bit let's let's try and get it a little smaller let's see if we can i think we can do it i think so feels like it's way out here. Here we go. Bring that in. Maybe bring this over for balance. Okay. Let's take a look at that. Oh, context. Context. Not bad. And in the double... Not bad. I think I could actually move it down a little bit, maybe? Let's move it down. It's gonna make us a little wider, but... That's not bad. I could also, um, I could also bring this up too. This doesn't need to be as, maybe as tight. Same with, well, I mean, that one's gonna be wide no matter what you do with it, but you know, as I'm looking at these, I'm feeling like the squiggly tilde is maybe a little too thick overall. just gonna bring some weight out of that um, there we go I think that's a little bit more even okay so the other fun thing we get to do why are there two of these oh I have an alternate somehow how did I do that oh that was an accident we don't need that I do not need an alternate of that character. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so next thing we can do is I think we have all the pieces to build these. I guess we're just doing Vietnamese accents um, right now, but you know, let's do it. Since we're here, um, what about the glyph create composite? Okay. Uh, you're gonna look a little messy at first, but there we go. So then we get to position them. And we need to add an anchor point. Where are we? Are we? Grab our anchor points. Uh, did Twitch make these or is this you? Because your bee disappeared, I noticed. Did my bee disappear? Um, the little shield hat, shield hat guy? Hat, hat, armor head dude? Um, I think that's just like the Twitch basic emoji thing. Um, no bee? Oh, you might have to subscribe for the B. <laughs> I don't know what I did with the settings. I might have made a different one because I think I can make one available. Um, I think I can make one available for free or something and then subscribers get different ones. I don't know. I might have. I don't know what happened. I can make the B the free one again, though. If that's what you want, if that's what the people want, I will give the people what they want. I wish I could just give you all the emotes for free. That would be great. Because... I don't really need subscribers. You guys are all cool and subscribing is cool. <laughs> oh, you can unlock it with kerning pairs? That might be possible too. I don't know. Anyway, subscribers are cool, but buying my typefaces are cooler. Is cooler. <laughs> or stickers. I have stickers too. And a pin. I have a Chaos Crew pin. Which is also very fun. So. <laughs> squiggle. Is that unlocking with kerning pairs too? The squiggle? 
Is one of them like just available or aw? <laughs> hard eyes. I like the hard eyes one. <laughs> Although the squiggle one has come in handy. Yeah, okay. You know what? See, this looks huge here too. Sorry, I keep I'm like talking to you and then I get completely distracted by type design. As is the way. There, you used your pairs. Yay! Keep using them. You still have 1.3k. <laughs> so many. <laughs> Jeez, you gotta stop showing up to stream so much, Taylor. I'm kidding. Keep showing up. It's nice to have someone to talk to. <laughs> alright, 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 alright. Create composite. Boom. Here we go. We need... Oh, did I add... Sorry, did I add this to the last one? I did not. We need, we need a top anchor. Okay. So we need our top anchor. We're gonna put our little thing up here. I like, I love these ones because it's like the brief is giving it a little hug up here, which I just adore. I love letter hugs. Letter hugs are the best. Do 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 do. do. There we go. We just get to move these things around. I guess that I should try and line these up. Maybe that would be a smart idea. Do do. You get to come up here and you get to shrink down a little bit because let's face it, you're massive. All right. I'm gonna bring our squiggle up. Technical term is squiggle. I have decided. Okay. There we go. So now we got all those built. Let's see how they look. Um, we got a couple up here. Here we go. Got a few up here. It's nice. Um, we have a few. So we do have a little bit of problem on the E. We got a little bit of problems here, but um, so one thing about the create composite in glyphs is that I like to pre-build. So you could, let me see if I can explain this. These are two marks that we already have, right? So you can put your top anchor point on your letter and then you could put another um, anchor point like to the side here, like a side anchor point um, that would sort of build that up. So you can kind of like build it in three layers if you want to. Um, that is one way to do it, but I feel like there's a reason that John told me once <laughs> and I can't remember what it was. Um, here, hang on. Where's the E or the O? We can use the O. So that's what this is trying to do. Like Glyphs is trying to build it that way. Um, maybe because it wasn't sure if I had the pre-composed one, but basically I like to compose this myself. You know, I, so I have a separate glyph that has these two in it that we've been working on, right? And then, so there's just the top anchor point up here, anchoring this one onto the letter. Um, and it just sticks both of them on there, which is, you know, I, I, I mean, it gives you a little, maybe better positioning. And I certainly could not shrink um, if I was positioning it that way of like, one, like <laughs> add one, then add the other like this the hook above I could not shrink it if I was using that method so I guess it gives a little more control over what the uh, combined shape looks like but it also just doesn't really do it automatically so <laughs> oh, so I'm gonna take my breathe acute combine I'm gonna copy that and I'm going to have to build out a little bit manually here. I think, I think maybe O has this one. Does O have the bereave combines? It doesn't. Maybe the no, maybe nobody else does have that. Unless the U has it. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, what does the E have? What do we got here? We have the circumflex acute. That's this guy. So we're gonna copy that. And here, where it's trying to add the two, we're gonna say, nope, use this one. 
Same here. Use this one. This one's better. We made it for you. Um, okay. And then... Oh, I have to do that a few more times. <laughs> then we get... Flex scrub. So we will delete these ones and add it here. And same here. There we go. That's better. Uh, what's this one supposed to be? Circumflex dot below. Okay, that's... So I'm looking... I don't know if you can see this here. It's uh, There's an empty base glyph note here, which means it's added... Um, it's added a diacritic mark, but I haven't drawn it yet. So that's the dot below. It's uh, it's in here somewhere, but right there. Um, so once I draw that, then I will add it in here. But that's why that looks funny right now. Okay, and we got one of these. So there's a little bit of manual fixing that happens here. I don't know why this happens, but when I automatically generate the composite glyphs, it, it always messes this up. But that's okay, we can fix it. Uh, let's see here. Oh, here's a fun one that we can fix too. This S does not have a bottom. It does not have a bottom anchor point here. So we can add that in and get our S cedilla looking, looking fine. Get that looking fine. That's much better. Oh, and we got a T cedilla too. We got to add a bottom in here as well. So we'll get our T and we'll add our bottom there. Now this is interesting. I might... Oh no, that's okay. We got a little bit of a weird overlap there, but I don't mind. Um, is there another cedilla letter? Or is that it? I think that might be it. I think it's just the S and the T. And the C, obviously. Um, okay. So... Uh, the O's are also going to be a mess here because we also have a bunch of these. Ones that are not pre-building nicely. What's here? Is this, like, really boring? Because I can do something else. <laughs> We're just copying and pasting at this point, but that's okay, right? <laughs> it's gotta get done. Okay, let's fix this one. Do, do, paste. And do, 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 paste. Yeah. Um, and this one. Copy. Do, do, paste. Do, do, paste. <laughs> no, do your thing. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for the feedback. Oh, look at this. It's broken here, too. Oh, wait. I need a bottom. I forgot to do it in the other weight. Oh, wait. <laughs> Mistake. You gotta add it to the actual S. There we go. And position that nicely. And we'll... Oh no, I did it again. Oops, I did it again. <laughs> okay. And then we'll put that right there. Try and get it in the middle of that stem. Oh, do a big zoom out. See where we're at. I don't think we have any other weird overlapping going on at the moment, which is great. I believe that we have fixed the broken things, which is wonderful. Okay. Man, I would love to finish this tonight, but I don't know if that's gonna happen. <laughs> Maybe we can get the marks done. Maybe. Okay. Um, shall we, shall we do some easy ones? All right, Taylor, sounds good. Have a good evening. Thanks for coming by. Okay. I'm gonna do some easy ones just to, just to knock some of these out. 
<laughs> Taylor and Lauren. <laughs> Taylor and Lauren out. Aww. <laughs> Thanks for coming. Love having you here. Okay. That one's a pretty easy one, right? We just flip it over. That's really all it is. Um, and we will make sure... Oh, make sure we do the same here. Do Because this is not fussy. I like it when it's not fussy. This is what we call production work. Production. Wow. Um, some people find it really boring. I find it kind of soothing. Good. Yeah, flip it. Yeah, it's a rainbow. It's the rainbow diacritic. Let's just rename it the rainbow diacritic. <laughs> I think of a rainbow every time I see it. And flip it. for everybody but I did not add bottom anchor points for everybody so we're gonna go through and do that um, we're gonna add things on the bottom and just try and get it position center for all of these even if they don't necessarily receive like you can see this one doesn't have any accents previewing below it but it could be in an underserved language. It could have a dot below. Um, and having this anchor point here means that the mark, like a mark could be added below it um, if the language requires it. So it's good to include it on every glyph. I don't think it like takes up more space or anything really. So it's just a good thing to do. At least that's how I think about it. I don't know. Maybe you have a different way. <laughs> um, I'm unsure if I should add it to this one. <laughs> I'm gonna go for it just in case. Um, but I have a descending J, which makes it a little awkward, but that's okay. This one definitely needs one. And you need one. Doo -doo -doo. The preview is really nice though, because um, you can see how your shapes are gonna interact, which is always awesome really helps with positioning those so thanks glyphs for that very useful feature um, yeah and this is uh, just roughing it in to be clear <laughs> uh, I will be checking the positioning of all of these in 
proofs later on. Oh, you know what? Wait a minute. I thought I already added a bottom to this one. Did I not do it? Oh. No, that one has one. I wonder what... Oh, it might have been when I pasted it. It just kind of replaced it, potentially. W dot below. That's a good one to get lined up properly and nice. And X. Look at this. There we go. I'm just looking for the middle in all these. Do, 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 do. And a Z. Or Z. Depending on where you are. That's bottoms on that weight. Now, let's do them on this one. It's definitely gotta come out. Got one there. Um, dang, that's pretty centered already. got so used to using uh, my laptop keyboard and like floating my hands that I've forgotten about my uh my uh external keyboard <laughs> which is back in service. I'm trying to remember. Oh here we go. Yeah I think I ruined it again. I pasted over it. <laughs> I should have it on the T. There we go. So now we have bottom anchor points on everything, which is great, because then what we are working on down here... Right, so our dot accent is now happening below things where it is supposed to be, which is excellent. Um, and now we can kind of judge if it's too far away, is too close. I think it's not bad, actually, uh, which is good. What else? Do we have anything easy? <laughs> ah, the carrying combine. I might address that a different time. Oh, we can do this one. Circumflex below. Why don't we do that? Oh, actually, well, I have a... Oh, no, I need a bottom. 
I need this kind of bottom. I need an underscore bottom. Thingy. Um, and then we'll grab our circumflex and we'll bring it all the way down to go underneath stuff. It's great. Um, we bring it up a little closer. Get that centered on it. I'm gonna bring it up a little more actually. Might as well, although we don't want to get too close to our overshoot line um, because then it will it'll touch things. <laughs> it'll touch letters. We don't want it to combine with the letter. We want it to just be with it. Okay. And do the same thing here. Do and go a little bit lower below the overshoot. Sideburn much larger than 96 <laughs> accidentally. Whew. Awesome. Um, we can also do that over here. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have made it a component. Silly Alana. I should have made it one of these. Because then if I change my circumflex... Why didn't I think of that? Hey. Okay. Let's get that centered. There we go. Turns out there was an even easier way of doing it. I didn't do it that way. Oh. Fail sauce. Okay. Well, that's fine. I'm gonna do it that way now. We are gonna add a component. We are gonna add a circumflex. You know what? I should have done that for the upside down ones, too. Now that I'm thinking about it. Oh, boy. save that for next stream and like a comma accent below and above the oak neck also fun and oh yeah the comma turn mod and apostrophe mod I have to look into again um, I think that's mainly a Hawaiian thing but I have to figure out I can't remember exactly what to do for those ones um, but yeah uh, I think we made good progress we did a lot of the Vietnamese ones um, which seemed daunting because there's a lot of them, but then they're really, most of them are just a combination of balancing shapes between combos of stuff. So it's, uh, I don't find them that hard. Um, it's kind of nice to add it. I always get to support more languages. Um, make everything more accessible. But yeah, I think, uh, we're getting pretty close here. Like, as I explained earlier, I've finished a lot of this character set, so... Looking forward to this being pretty done! Are we tired of Amberwood yet? A little bit. <laughs> it will be over soon. Um, Alright, I think that's it for me tonight. Um, I think I'll be back Wednesday. I might take a break on Wednesday, so... We'll see. Maybe you won't see me on Wednesday. Um... Uh, <laughs> 